What's up guys, Jason here. In this video, I'm going to be teaching you how to make a simple automatic Minecraft Bayrock sugarcane farm. This farm works on point 20 and on all platforms of Minecraft Bayrock, whether you play on a phone, tablet, Xbox, PlayStation, Nintendo Switch, or PC. This farm allows you to easily get sugarcane. By the way, sugarcane can be used to make paper. Paper can be used to make firework rockets or it can be traded with villagers for emeralds. For this farm, you'll need 2 chests, 2 hoppers, 4 powered rails, 26 rails, 1 minecart hopper, 4 levers, 9 glass blocks, 16 dirt blocks, 16 sugarcane, 2 water buckets, 16 pistons, 16 observers, 16 redstone, 50 slabs, you can use any type of slab that you want, 8 stairs, and finally about a stack and 47 solid blocks, you can use any type of solid block that you want. A couple examples of solid blocks are smooth stone or cobblestone. The first step is to place 4 solid blocks. One, two, three, four. Then place two chests over here. Now crouch down and place two hoppers behind that chest. Make sure the nozzles of those hoppers are funneling towards that chest. They will collect sugarcane from the minecart hopper and funnel them into the collection's chest. Then place four solid blocks over here. After you've done that, place ten solid blocks over here and 10 over here. Once you're done with that step, place two solid blocks at this spot. Then place your power rail over here and a lever over here. Then flick this lever down. As you guys can see there, that should cause that power rail to get activated. Now place three rails over here. Then crouch down and place a rail on each hopper. Once you've done that, place two rails over here and a power rail at this spot. Then place a lever over here and flick it down. Then place a rail at this spot. Now place 10 rails over here. Now go to the back. Then place a rail over here and power rail at this spot. Then place a lever over here and flick it down. Once you're done with that step, place 7 rails over here. Then place your power rail at this spot. Now place two blocks over here and a lever at this spot. Now flick this lever down. After you're done with that step, you should have a rail system that is connected like that. If your rails don't get connected like that, try breaking some then replacing them. This rail system will be where the mine with hopper travels to collect all the sugar cane. The next step is to place eight dirt blocks over here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Then place eight stairs over here. Then place 8 dirt blocks over here. The dirt blocks are where the sugar cane will be planted. Now place 3 blocks over here. And 3 on this side as well. The next step is to create an infinite water source. To do that, go somewhere near the farm. Then place blocks in this formation. Now place water over here and water over here. By creating that infinite water source, you will be able to use two buckets to fill in all the water for the entire farm. Now place water in each stair. Now fill in and break the infinite water source. The next step is to place a minecart hopper over here. As you guys can see there, that minecart hopper should travel back and forth along the rail system. It will collect all the sugar cane. The next step is to place 10 solid blocks over here. Now face this direction. Then place 8 solid blocks over here. After you've done that, place a piston on each of those blocks. Make sure those pistons are facing this way. Those pistons will automatically harvest the sugar cane that grows on this side. Now go back over here. Then place an observer at each of these spots. Make sure the top arrow of each of those observers are facing this way. Those observers will detect whenever sugar cane becomes 3 blocks tall. Once you have done that, place a block behind each piston. Then place redstone on each of those blocks. 
That redstone will connect the observers to the pistons. After you've done that, go to this side. Now place 10 solid blocks over here. Then face this direction. Then place 8 solid blocks over here. Now place a piston on each of those blocks. Make sure those pistons are facing this way. After you have done that, face this direction. Now place 8 observers over here. Make sure the top arrow of all those observers are facing this way. Once you have done that, place 8 solid blocks over here. Now place redstone on each of those blocks. This observer and piston system will harvest the shurricane on this side. The next step is to place 3 solid blocks over here, and 3 over here. Now place 9 glass blocks like this. The next step is to plant shurikane on each dirt block. Once you have planted that shurikane, go to this side. Then place 5 blocks over here, 5 over here, and 5 over here. Then place 5 slabs like this. Now place 9 slabs over here. After you have done that, fill in the outline with slabs. Once you are done with that step, the farm should look like that. I am now going to do a quick fly around so you can check and make sure you have made this farm correctly. The front should look like this. Make sure all the pistons and observers are facing the correct directions. Down here, there should be this rail system. This side should have the collections chest and this redstone. The back should look like this. Finally, this side should have this redstone. I am now going to show you all how to use this farm. To use it, all you have to do is wait. Over time, the sugarcane will grow. Whenever sugarcane grows to be 3 blocks tall, an observer will detect that, then send a redstone signal to the pistons. That will cause all the sugarcane that has grown on that side to be harvested. After sugarcane is harvested, it will get collected by that minecart hopper funneled into those hoppers and funneled into that collection's chest. Whenever you want to collect the sugarcane, all you have to do is go over here. It will be in this chest. I hope you all enjoyed learning how to make this simple and efficient Minecraft Bayrock sugarcane farm. Please like, comment, subscribe, and check out my other Minecraft videos. Thanks for watching!